Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a bit of a different reading. We're going to be doing a pick a card all about your secret love message, a message that's coming in towards you. So this is going to be for people who are in a love situation or those who are completely single or those who are just wanting a message from the universe about your love life. This could be somebody you're in contact with, this could be a crush. We're just going to see what comes out and then we're going to see how you resonate with it. So let's get started with your reading. We have group number one, group number two, group number three. I'm not going to put crystal cards on today. I just feel the need for you guys to just choose intuitively. So please choose your group and we're going to see what your secret love message is and let's get started. So starting off with group number one, let's see what's coming in for you guys. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what your, what your secret love message is. So we're going to do the 18 plus tarot in just a second and we'll go Onto that in just a second and we'll look into tarot so we're gonna look into the oracle cards first there's quite a few to get through so let's get started so let's go for the bigger cards first and then we're going to move on to those so okay so first cards we have get grounded empaths highly sensitive connect with nature so for you guys i picked up on a very very strange energy from this group i'm not sure why but it felt like somebody is kind of like creeping around your energy so if you guys really cut cords with somebody if you need to i feel like it's somebody you really need to let go of so just be very careful about that and also no one can hurt you okay especially in spirit no one can hurt you so if there's anybody you need to let go of just say no i don't want your energy no thank you and say i release any energy that no longer serves me now thank you it's okay all right, communication between species, animals, pets, magical companions, guardianship. We have multidimensionality and kindness. Okay, so this is the first message for you guys. So I do feel like you guys are really connected to animals and you're like, why does this have to do with love? Okay, this could be a relationship between you and an animal and it could be that you are manifesting an animal into your life and this love message can be really varied. So love is, can be from an animal as well, obviously not in a romantic sense, but it's you guys are really attracting kindness through animals, okay? So you're very, you're obviously, you, you seem to be somebody who's very drawn to, from animals. Like animals are so drawn to you. So also you guys could be communicating with somebody very unusual, somebody who's probably not your really your type, but also somebody who, I don't know, you, you connect with somebody who's kind of random, somebody who just kind of pops into your life because they're just really connected to you. And it feels like somebody very unusual. It just feels like a very unusual energy and they could pop in and pop out again. And this feels like you guys are gonna have lots of different messages in this. This is just one message, okay? So I feel like for you guys, you're very multidimensional and you're also very kind. And I feel like you're really attracting somebody in who is very, very kind. But you guys do need to get grounded. You are very sensitive and you're very empathic and you really connect on to people in a very sensitive way. So if you need to let, some, let go of somebody who's very negative, this is the sign to do so because you have so much to give and you really need to start giving that towards yourself and really opening up your heart chakra, okay? And I do feel like there's so many kind connections that are coming towards you, like loads and loads and loads of kind connections, like this is just the beginning, okay? And you guys really need to speak kinder to yourself and love yourself and really acknowledge that, I'm hearing for you guys, if you wanna to connect to, um, I'm hearing a grandfather or um, somebody in spirit, then definitely do that because I feel like somebody really wants to talk to you in spirit. So if you feel you want to connect to any spirits, um, obviously do it in the kindest of ways. Um, ask for permission to talk to somebody or if there's somebody who's passed over and there's, they're trying to give you a message. Just this is a message from me to you from spirit that um, somebody wants to talk to you or somebody has been trying to get through. So um, just be aware of that. Obviously, if that's not something you're into, then 100% you do not have to go with this. Just that's confirmation for some of you guys who've been feeling a little bit unusual or getting signs from the universe about somebody wanting to talk to you, okay? It could be from a lover as well. Not in, not in spirit, I mean somebody on the earth plane. Somebody who you're connecting to or somebody who is your future partner and you're trying to like come together with them. Um, so multidimensionality, as I say, you could be connecting to somebody on the 3D as well, getting like psychic messages um, and feeling like then they're just very kind messages. It's very, very kind. OK, so let's see more about the person or kind of situation you're dealing with right now or that's coming towards you. We have the self. We have Pisces and we have Uranus. Very beautiful. So really big energy. This is a brand new start. I'm hearing the start of something new by House Musical. You guys are manifesting 
um, a Pisces around your life, um, somebody who reflects you. So if you've been working on yourself, this is going to be a really, really healthy relationship. And this is somebody who you've possibly been flirting with for quite a while. They could be quite a flirty person, but in a good way. And for some of you guys, they're okay. So this is okay. For some of you guys, this is quite a negative message. Some of you guys are really positive. So beware. Okay, they're saying just beware because somebody is trying to mess you around. This is just obviously specific to some of you guys. If this isn't something you resonate with, then just, you know, don't worry about this message. Some of you guys, you've been messing around, you've been messed around by somebody. They don't really put you first and they try to kind of compete with you, okay? This is somebody very immature. If this is somebody in your energy, let them go. Some of you guys who are really connected with someone beautiful and it feels amazing, it feels really easy, or you've been just really working on yourself, you guys are going to get a massive new change in love and you're going to feel so much more open, so much more able to really resonate with your energy. But some of you guys are getting massive anxiety around this group and I don't know why and it feels like you guys are scared to jump forward into this relationship. You're scared of making the first move. Um, you don't actually have to make the first move. This person will make the move towards you. Just make yourself available to this person. Like tell, tell them that you're single or let them know that you're wanting a relationship or something like that. Let yourself be open and you don't have to nego you don't have to give yourself away to um, let yourself be vulnerable. You've got to stand in your power and you've been balancing out your masculine and your feminine recently. You've been really working on being assertive but also bringing in that love. So just kind of remain kind of detached from any overwhelming worries basically and this is a lot to do with your third eye just really tune into your intuition and feel what is good for you guys but there's definitely something here that feels like you need to detach from it definitely a relationship some of you guys need to let go of okay if you're dealing with someone toxic there is somebody who you need to let go of um also for some of you guys you may feel the need to kind of release um like you don't really want to get involved in love because you've been kind of hurt a lot. And this is a message to some of you guys that you guys are really, you, you are going to manifest somebody who's really good for you, okay? So obviously this is going to resonate different with everyone. But this is this is beautiful. This is a really beautiful energy. For some of you guys, it's very polar opposite. I'm getting like a massive 50-50 energy. There's literally two messages going on here. So if you guys are dealing with quite a toxic energy or somebody who feels very toxic, just realise that you do have the permission to let this person go. Um, but for some of you guys who are dealing with someone who's so amazing or you're single and you're waiting for somebody, this is someone so beautiful. They have worked on themselves. They are so fully present with you and it's going to be really, really light and beautiful. Okay, so let's have a look at your 18 plus section. Let's see what's going on in that area. Let's see what wants to come through for your tarot. Four of Wands, beautiful. That is absolutely perfect. So for you guys who are attracting somebody. Oh my God, we've got the two of cups. Okay, this is so positive. Love, okay? There's love energy here. You guys have been dealing with so much toxicity. You deserve someone amazing, okay? You deserve someone so worth your energy. Someone who is so wanting to pursue you. Somebody might be overlooking you though. Somebody might be quite jealous of you or an ex might be kind of like talking to you or trying to get your attention let go of that person because you have got someone so much more amazing also you guys are really worrying about your love life and your sex life and you're wondering is it ever going to pick up wow 100 percent. we have the sun that's amazing so you guys you have nothing to worry about you're an empress okay you're in charge you make the rules if something isn't right for you let it go if something is coming in let it flow okay my guides like to rhyme so that is definitely a channel message right there massive amount of intimacy here you guys are going to be like little I'm hearing little love birds, but I'm also hearing like dogs on each other, which sounds really gross, but I mean it in the nicest way. I mean it in a way that's like really intensely sexual. This this is a very beautiful, like, I can see you guys just on top of each other and like flipping over and just like, just being really enwrapped in each other and feeling like you can be so open and loving. And I feel like my heart chakra is spilling over with just emotion and beauty and happiness and sexuality and and love and just, beauty and just feeling really really amazing so if you guys really learn to clear your energy i'm just going to clear my energy right now okay so you guys really need to learn to clear your energy because i'm picking up on a lot of weird energies in this group so if you've got somebody you feel like somebody's kind of around you definitely release them you have the power okay you have the power here so you may feel like you don't you definitely do you guys are going to manifest a most abundant stable relationship you have ever had in your whole freaking life you freaking deserve this, okay? And it's going to be somebody who really listens to you. It's going to be somebody who uh, puts you first. 
And with this energy here, it's somebody who's so spiritual and sexual and expressive and just want, I'm just feeling somebody like scratching your back and just being really like intense and gorgeous and amazing. And with this energy here, this feels like somebody kind of coming in, oh my God, I'm getting so hot. I feel like some of you guys are really attracting a soulmate here and I'm getting so freaking hot. Like you guys are really manifesting like the best this, this energy is so intense. You've been waiting for somebody for such a long time, guys. Like you, wow, this is absolutely beautiful and so overwhelming and so scary, but in a good way. Like you guys have been waiting for somebody for such a long time and you freaking deserve it, guys. You freaking deserve it, okay? And you guys, if you want to express yourself sexually, this person, just freaking do it. I'm hearing life is a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get, but at the end of the day, it's chocolate and it's yummy. <laughs> not a very profound message but it's it's a beautiful message so so yeah have play have fun with this this is somebody who wants to come in and really greet you with something amazing and I'm feeling somebody um behind me wanting to tap me on the shoulder and it feels like somebody wanting to interrupt me doing this reading it's very strange but I feel like somebody really wants to get your attention so get ready for this person coming in because they really want you they want your body they want your mind they want everything and it's so intense okay and Release any energy that no longer serves you because there's definitely like an exchange of energies that's going on. So just be aware of somebody if you feel like you're a bit drained, just remember to release your energy and be aware of anything that no longer serves you. And I feel like you guys are really just reveling in this. This is absolutely beautiful. Love is coming in for you guys and it feels so amazing. Okay, so for group number one, I felt I forgot to pull you a shark card. So I'm gonna pull you a shark card now. So we're gonna see how you are showing up in this situation. Forgiveness, really working on your forgiveness, working on your heart chakra, forgiving yourself for anything that you feel like you've done wrong and just really knowing that you're doing all the right things, okay? And knowing that everything will work out in divine timing. Let's have a look at the person in this situation. So the person in this situation is working on their calmness and their creativity. So you guys might be apart from this person. If you guys are kind of apart from somebody, this is what they're working on. But also if you're wanting to manifest a relationship, it's gonna be through somebody who's very calm and creative and beautiful. And if you're kind of already in a relationship, your work, your, your person's working on becoming more calm and working on their anger, okay? So the relationship between you and this person it's going to be so abundant okay so if you guys who are waiting to manifest somebody who are single or you know are already in a relationship abundance is coming towards you the world is abundant when you choose to see it that way so really changing up your perspective on things and things are really going to start changing for you okay absolutely amazing this is so positive i love this and underneath we have love so all this is about love guys if you just choose love then that's what you're going to get you know you're going to get that abundance and that happiness and manifesting love you know it just feels so beautiful so you will manifest love if you are lucky in it or you feel like you can't attract it it will come in for you it is coming okay much love to you guys bye so thank you so much for being here guys if you want a private reading all my information is down below i actually have an 18 plus reading available so if you want to check that out let me know um you can message me through my email or, or instagram all the information is down below thank you so much for being here and i'll speak to you soon bye Hello group number two, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming in for you guys and let's see what secret love message is coming in. So we're gonna do the tarot after we've done the oracle card. So we're gonna do a little shuffle of those and see what wants to come out as well. So let's see what wants to come out for you guys in terms of your oracle cards. We're gonna do those first. Okay, so first card out. Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seed in the light, laying foundations, divine plan. That is so beautiful. So you guys, you may feel like you're a bit lost, a bit confused, a bit kind of like, I have no idea where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. Just realize that there is a divine plan and there is, everything's being sorted for you. Okay, everything is really being sorted for you. Oh yes, I love this little guy. Every time he comes out, I get so excited and I love reading. So Acorn's Intuition touch exchange connection somebody's coming in who's so sexual so intense so lustful so perfect for you and they just look at you like with such endearment and love okay we have soul and we have romantic love oh my god i love this so for you guys i feel like for some of you guys you could be dealing with somebody but for most of you i feel like you're single who's watching this i feel like this is somebody who you don't I just burped just clarification so you're going to get somebody who you've been waiting for for a very very long time 
this is somebody who knows your soul and you guys are soulmates you guys are such soulmates i hardly have used the word soulmates in my readings but oh my god are you guys soulmates holy crap this is such a romantic energy you guys are just going to touch each other like you've never been touched before it's not even like a sensual way it's just so beyond human energy it's like so special and so spiritual and it feels like somebody who genuinely absolutely loves you this feels so non-toxic it's crazy it's so beautiful okay so for some of you guys number 17 could be quite important for you guys and hopefully you're not 17 if you're watching this because it's an 18 plus reading but if you are 17 naughty naughty um, <laughs> um so for some of you guys this is a very soul connection intense soul connection someone who is rededicated to you in love and it's not even is it yeah this this connection is so beyond so beyond the human realm it's just so spiritual so beautiful and so grounded as well you guys are getting really really grounded and just feeling so connected to each other and this person is someone you've always wanted to meet this is somebody you've actually been searching for and my throat chakra just did something weird so you're going to get a message in very very soon from this person it feels so beautiful and yeah i really really love this this is somebody who has been wanting you for a very very long time like past lives honestly it's so beautiful and it just feels like they've been longing for you for the longest amount of time and you guys have been laying the foundations and, and put in planting seeds for your relationships to come in so this is more for those of you who are single in this group um but i do feel like if you're with somebody who is quite toxic somebody who doesn't give you the love that you need this is not that person this is somebody who you've been doing the work this is this is for somebody who doesn't have any toxicity around them but also this could be somebody who comes in while you are kind of honoring a toxic relationship but it doesn't feel like as much it's more like you may have just let go of somebody or may have or may are going, are going to let go of somebody and then somebody comes in and really opens your heart and makes you realize what you're missing okay so that's beautiful i love this group such a high vibing romantic relationship i love this Okay, so let's see what else wants to come through. And then we're going to have a look into the tarot. Libra and Aquarius. This could be somebody who's a Libra or an Aquarius. They could also be somebody who's really balanced in love. There's somebody who's worked on themselves, worked on the masculine and the feminine. This is somebody who is really independent. And this love message, this love message that's coming through, is so unexpected, okay? It's so unexpected, okay? I don't know why I repeated myself, but there we go. They might be repeating themselves in their message, but this is somebody who they've been for a lot. They've been for a lot of to toxicity and they've been for a lot of intensity and they've been waiting for you for such a long time, okay? They are quite high, like they, they're they quite high. What does that mean? They're, they're somebody who people recognise them on the street, okay? So they're somebody who's possibly quite famous um, in a most authentic way. So I do feel like this is, and obviously... You you gravitate and magnetize somebody who will who is also the same as you. So this is if you are somebody who's quite popular on social media, or you're somebody who um, you want to be quite famous in the future or something. That's this person. Okay. If you're not really bothered, I don't feel like that's that. Um, but I do feel like for some of you guys, obviously that's not going to resonate with everyone. Some of you guys, this person has really strong principles. Okay. And they're learning to let go of their ego. They're learning to let go of anything that no longer serves them. And um, there's somebody who is quite secretive and this is a secret love message. So you guys, this person's gonna be so secretive with the way they kind of contact you. Um, and I mean in a way that's like, okay, I really like you, but I don't know how to say it. That's basically what it is. And this person's very intense, okay? So the way they make love with you, it's so intense and raw and passionate and this person really thinks with their mind. They're somebody who speaks their mind. They are very honest. And some of you guys, this person is almost like a shaman. So there's somebody with a very high vibration. So this is somebody who is working on kind of being blind. They've been blinded in love before. And this could be also you as well. No more secrets in love. This is somebody who's so open, so kind of generous. And the person who is around you and giving you this message it just feels so honoring it feels like this is so beautiful you you've been waiting for this person for a very very long time and this is somebody you've wanted for the longest amount of time and it feels like with ostentation 
they're very wealthy and they're trying to hide it as well so it's kind of like they're holding on to their love for you because they're scared that if they if they show their real self they might be rejected by you okay so that's for some of you guys as well so let's get into the, the tarot and let's get some sexual messages let's see what wants to come through so the first card out we have is the two of pentacles so you might meet this person through work they're very work orientated as somebody who has quite high principles they know what they like this this person's going to message you and it's going to be through love and through work so combined together so you might not want to be with this person because it's through work and it kind of might not be like you know i'm hearing it might not be radical don't know why that makes sense but basically it's very late here guys i'm sorry if i'm not making sense now <laughs> um but basically you may not make it may not even make sense what the message says so they may start talking to you at work and you'll be like okay just spit it out you know um basically there someone's in love with you at work or someone is seeing you in the public eye or at work and they really really like you and this is very rare that i get the, king, the queen of pentacles so you are somebody in work as well you could be the boss and they could be like a co-worker that could be why it's so intense and so weird um but Somebody is really looking at you in work. Somebody is really observing you. And it feels like they're wanting to do something, but they don't want you to know about it because it might muck up the situation you have at work. Um, so for you guys, this is somebody who's really driven. They're very grounded. They love your body, okay? They love your body. They want to see you naked. They want to see you totally naked. They want to feel your skin. They love your hair. You might have dark brown hair or long hair. I'm feeling like really long hair for some of you guys, even black long hair. So you guys might have curly hair as well. You're going through a really death process with this relationship here. Like your, your old relationship with them is going to die off and then a new one's going to come in because it's going to go from like colleagues to lovers. But also it could be somebody you work with in, in your work or somebody you, you kind of connect with through your work. It doesn't actually have to be at work. Um, but it feels like somebody you really didn't think of before and now you're ready for them, okay? And in terms of like the sexual energy, you two are so ready to meet each other, okay? You have such an intense bond and I love judgment because it has this gorgeous cord between you two. So you guys are ready to meet each other and this person is very intense with their words. Like when they can get going with their words, they will, they will get going. And this is a very sexual thing as well. Like they are really good at dirty talk. They are really good at expressing their words with you. They love talking about things that are taboo. They like to tease as well and really create some sort of like sexual tension, but they don't like to admit it. Okay, so they'll do it really subtly. And yeah, with the death as well, this is somebody who has gone through a lot. They could be a Scorpio, you could be a Scorpio as well. And also for some of you guys, you feel like your time is running out with love as well but it's not it's only just starting here which is amazing and you guys you may have been you may be somebody who's single and has been working a lot and possibly feel like you don't have time for love or feel like love isn't going to come in that is a total opposite you are literally preparing yourself for this relationship okay and this connection so i'm going to pull you a chakra card because i feel really drawn to do that so let's see what you're working on right now <laughs> perfect i love this it literally says love. That is so perfect. And we have Rhodonite. What are they working on? Yep. They're scared about making the move. <laughs> I love that. And then the connection between you two. Creativity. This is about sexuality as well. You guys need to speak about, speak to each other. Have a good old chat. And if you don't know who this is, this is going to be a surprise. As I say, this is a secret love message, so you might not even know who this person is yet. This is beautiful. It says, turn your worry into worry. This person's worrying about what they think, what they, what you might think. You might be somebody who's quite um, popular on social media. You might have a lot of followers. You might be somebody who's quite prestigious in the workplace. You might take your work very seriously. And this person's like, oh, I don't want to mess this up. But you really love this person. <laughs> the love between you two is so gorgeous, okay? And the fact we had creativity just shows me how sexual this relationship is. Because your sexuality and your creativity are basically in the same thing. It's like the sacral chakra. So absolutely beautiful thank you guys so much for being here and if you'd like a private reading i do 18 plus reading so that's an option that i offer down below and uh, if you'd like to connect with me through instagram or etsy or through my email please do i do custom jewelry so thank you so much for being here and i'll speak to you soon bye
Hello group number three, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So we're gonna do the sexual magic tarot at the end. So let's have a look at your oracle cards first and then we're gonna look into these a little bit more detail, okay? So let's get started with the first cards. We have transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Yes, queen, she is sitting on her throne. She is chilling and we have deep healing. I love this, so beautiful. We then have letting go, detachment, moving on. Queen, yes, you are moving on. You are saying goodbye to things that no longer serve you. You are being your most authentic self. You are working on your seventh chakra. You are channeling some gorgeous messages and the love message is gonna come in. It's, being, it's gonna be so authentic, such an authentic message. It's gonna be possibly a spiritual message as well, message from spirit. Uh, and we also have the third chakra. Somebody is um, it's, it's your confidence in love and somebody is going to manifest into your life who's also really confident and it's going to be a love message that's very passionate and very sexual and a very kind of spiritual and mature relationship you do not longer, longer need anyone who no longer serves you bye bye bitch we don't need you anymore like goodbye okay goodbye so you are manifesting somebody because you have finished an old cycle okay 10, we have 10 here, which is completion. We have seven and three, which is literally 10. So that's amazing. So you guys are working with your solar plexus and your crown to create this gorgeous, like high priestess, empress, gorgeous, confident energy. It feels so beautiful. It feels like Beyonce. That's what I'm picking up. It feels like Beyonce. So you might be a Virgo as well. I'm pretty sure Beyonce is a Virgo. I'm picking up on like Destiny's Child and I'm actually hearing Britney Spears as well. But obviously I know she's going for a lot right now, but I'm thinking about like that energy that she exudes in her music video. It's just very, very confident, very sexy and just very feminine. And I feel like you guys are really, and creative. I feel like you guys are very creative people and I feel like you're really attracting somebody who's extremely creative and really, really beautiful. I love this. Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of your cards. I love the fact we have letting go though. You guys, you're going to get a really strong message from somebody who is is ready for you because you've let go. Like you're ready, you're ready for somebody who authentically loves you and authentically wants to be with you. Okay, so let's get more, more information on this person or this situation. We have Taurus, beautiful. We have Waxing Gibbous. And we have first quarter. Okay, so I'm gonna have a look into these uh, moon cards in just a second, okay? Somebody is very stable. You could meet them through some sort of work endeavor or just um, when, you're ready, when you're ready and when you're stable, that's when you're gonna meet this person. Wow, this is such a beautiful message from somebody. This person is very conventional. You're going to escape with them. You're gonna feel like you escape when you meet them. It's gonna be so exciting. You guys have got the best cards, I feel. You're, you're guys very cut and clean with this group. You guys, I can feel that this is definitely somebody coming in for you. Somebody new, somebody, you've been working on your independence. No more codependency here. It's so exciting, very seductive. This person knows their power, like, and so do you, okay? So let's have a look at this card. So waxing gibbous represents refine and hone, observe and align your hopes with the universe, build momentum. So you guys are really manifesting somebody. You've been doing the work, you've been manifesting, you're ready for this person. And then we have first quarter, taking action, making moves and pushing through any obstacles that are revealed. So you guys are, you have so much strength and this person is no, is, is really pushing through obstacles as well. Okay. So you guys are the only group who had the card of seduction. So you guys are going to have such a sexual relationship. It's going to be so independent. You guys are going to be really independent. You're not going to rely on each other. And the message that's coming in for you is that you guys are going to manifest the most gorgeous relationship. It feels so authentic and conventional. This person is really stable. This is somebody who loves your energy. They feel really warm. Um, there's somebody who's going to hug you and feel gorgeous with you and just ultimate satisfaction. You're going to feel really, really happy. Like this is somebody you've been manifesting for like years years i feel some of you guys have been single for quite a long time i feel like some of you guys are libras and you've been really suffering with your love life and now you've, you've gone through all the obstacles and letting go of anything that no longer serves you've been very aware of things that no longer serve you and you have so much excitement like you're so ready for this you're so ready for somebody and it's funny how we literally have taurus there and we have taurus right there as well so you guys are going to have the most amazing heart opening energy and i feel like with taurus they're very much to do with heart chakra so this person's going to be really opening with their heart and they're going to be so enthusiastic with their energy and this is somebody who's been waiting and watching in the wings so there might not be somebody who's actually fully aware that they're doing this but on a spiritual level you and the universe have been almost conversing on like a higher realm and you're so ready to meet this person in my hands 
feels so buzzy right now. It feels like I have so much energy to give and I'm getting really hot. So you're going to manifest somebody who makes you feel so warm and amazing and buzzy and you just feel have such a gorgeous like tantric energy between you two. You guys can literally have sex just by looking at each other. <laughs> That's how spiritual the energy is. It just feels really warm and loving. I just burped so you guys that's a clarification you guys are also manifesting a cat or a dog or a snake into your life like a, a new pet um this guy might have this guy okay probably a guy as well if it's not a guy and you're not attracted to men just take it as it resonates um i just picked up on a guy which just randomly came in my mind um this person might have a dog i'm picking up on like a really big dog like a husky or a great dane or something it's, that's only for some of you guys and obviously I'm, I'm hearing a few guys if you're allergic or you can't have dogs in the house this ain't the one sis or they're gonna leave the dog at their own house and come and see you <laughs> um this is somebody i'm picking up who could be a cancerian or a pisces as well could be scorpionic uh scorpionic energy um i'm also picking up on capricorn and aquarius so very intense energy but they love you so much and they just really want to see you blossom and they're really proud of you. I'm hearing they're really proud of you. And if you don't even know this person, they just know who you are. Like spiritually, they know who you are. You guys have been waiting for each other for so long. And you want to marry and get have kids and live together. And if you already have kids, I feel like you both are going to share each other's uh, children and just be a really beautiful family. And I'm seeing for some of you guys, you could be um, living in or like going on holiday in like a caravan or something. And you're having like holidays away in like a camper van. And we have the number two or 11. So that could be a really big synchronicity for you guys. So like duality, balance and amazing. Absolutely amazing. So let's have a look and see what we have. Eight of cups. Perfect. Easy. Feeling really easy. This is an easy connection. Like this isn't something that you have to worry about or feel confused about. So king of pentacles. <laughs> you're like, no, no, don't show me your penis yet. <laughs> Um, this is somebody who's like, I'm just going to walk around naked and you're going you're gonna to be shy about showing this person your, your body. But I feel like it's because maybe you've been single for a while and you haven't been that vulnerable with somebody. Um, this person's going to really love your hair. Don't worry about the scissors, guys. That's not it. It's not it, sis. Um, this, this is you cutting the cords of people who no longer serve you. People who are controlling, you're cutting the cords of them. And now you're manifesting somebody who is abroad possibly somebody who um you talk to abroad it could be somebody who you are this is somebody who may not be it may be foreign it may be somebody who um, is from a different country they may look foreign or may not look like they're from your country um but they're somebody who is really ready for you they're they're very sexual got really strong aries energy here and you've been waiting for this person for a very long time you guys are really clearing out the rubbish you guys are really clearing stuff out and it may feel like you have to wait for a while but oh my god is this so worth it like wow okay so this person's going to really give to you and in sexually they're going to so just easily give to you okay you guys are going to hold hands you're going to hug you're going to naturally just do things sexually and it's not going to be a big deal in, in a way that it's like it's not going to be toxic you guys are really just going to share each other's bodies and it's going to be so authentic and this person's going to love your legs for some reason they just love like the way you <laughs> it's really random but they like the way you shave your legs. <laughs> so random. I don't know. Or maybe they like your shave legs. But they've got like a sage stick here. Or is this two people all tied up? I don't know. But it's showing me like, it reminds me of like a little bit of sage here. So you might, you guys might be saging yourself together or having like sex with like a sage stick on. It feels like you guys love tying each other up and being very intense with each other and just really ex like being creative and experiencing each other's bodies and just being really open and vulnerable and your body is is there to explore that's what i'm hearing and just let yourself explore your body okay so if you feel uncomfortable exploring your own body that is totally fine you know we are in a society that's kind of like you know doesn't really kind of let that out but you guys know that you have your own body and it's so perfectly normal to explore your own sexuality like please do explore your sexuality in the most healthiest way because you need to know your body before anyone else can know your body, okay? And yeah, that's like a really important message. And I'm getting really strong fire signs, strong water and strong earth from this group. Just really beautiful energy. I love it. I love, love, love it. So let me pull a couple of chakra cards. Let's see who you are in this relationship. I feel need to pull a chakra card. This is you. Security. Oh my God. Perfect. 
to feel more secure, deepen your connection with nature. You guys are working on your security. So the more secure you feel, the more quicker you will manifest this love message, this love message from somebody who wants to come into your life. Who is this person in this relationship? Wow, this person's meant to be in your life. They're gonna come in in divine timing and they're working from their crown chakra, blue lace agate. Blue lace agate is actually about communication. <laughs> this person is literally gonna give you a love message. It says, recognize the divine in the mirror. So who you are reflecting back to yourself is who you're going to manifest. It's going to be so beautiful. No more of this toxicity, guys. You guys are manifesting somebody who's so perfect for you. What's the relationship like? Intuitive. Listen to the signs. Watch out for the signs that's coming towards you. And um, get ready. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay. Let's have a look and see what else. Can we pull one more card? I feel like I need to just pull one more card about the relationship here. Just go with my intuition today. As usual. <laughs> Okay, beautiful. I want, I want these two. Underneath the cards, we have destiny. You guys are meant to meet each other. You guys are so meant to meet. Absolutely beautiful. Third eye, fluorite. Yep, so high vibrational. We're going to have the solar plexus shine. You are made of stardust to so keep sparkling. Don't ever dull your shine for anyone, guys. And don't ever stop yourself from feeling things. You know, your, your emotions are there to be felt. And I know it can be very uncomfortable. But the more you recognise your truth in you and what you feel authentically will bring out this person. Speak from your heart. It's the only thing worth listening to. So listen to yourself, guys. You are worth, you are worth listening to and you're worth somebody to listen to you. So if there are people that aren't listening to you, just let them go, okay? Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. I do 18 plus readings, so that will be down below as well. Um, also, you guys, I'm reconnected with this card here. You guys are really going to be like hugging like that. So cute. So thank you so much for watching guys and I also have an Etsy store so please check that out down below, Crystal Shop and it's a crystal shop and I do crystal jewellery as well so thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon, much love, bye.